it's Rob Belay again, and what we're going to do real quick is go through three new meats. But one time, and we've done one segment already on ground beef and the difference of how 93% proves it's far more superior and it saves you money versus 75 or 80% ground beef on bulk buy. I mean, genius. So next we're going to go through three other meats that you might commonly have as a burger. One will be turkey burger at 93% ground beef. Another one is going to be ground lamb, which is awesome. I don't know if you ever had ground lamb, you could mix it with a bunch of great seasons. It just by itself. It's delicious. And the ever popular and grown in trend, ground bison. So we're going to go between these three. I'm going to make a quarter pound burger of each of these, which will be four ounces. And from there, I'm actually going to cook them and we're going to weigh them and see which one retains the most value. They're pretty much all at the same price. The ground lamb's about $5 a pound. Ground bison's around $4.30, $5 a pound, depending on where you shop. And the ground turkey's about $4.50 a pound. So they're all pretty similarly the same price. But let's see what you actually get the most bang for buck for, nutritionally speaking. And we can see already off the bat, this has been cooking a little bit longer. You can see it's spitting up a lot. The lamb spits a little bit more. Water, it looks like. It doesn't really look like grease so much, as much as it would be water. But we also do know lamb is very known for its fat and the way it tastes with the fat. The turkey is barely doing anything. It's pretty much like 93% ground beef. And this actually is 93% ground turkey. So, pretty interesting. And this is the bison. And I can't tell if the bison's louder or if the ground lamb's louder, but it should be pretty interesting. <laughs> All right. uh, now you can see with the lamb, it a, is a fattier meat, so it is tending to splatter. Wow. So I'll put the screen on to reduce the cleanliness. And the turkey burger, barely, and the bison's barely. But the bison's known for that. Bison is known for being a thicker meat. That's why people tend to like it. And turkey, well, obviously, seems to be everyone's fail safe, but everyone complains about the taste of turkey. But it's better than tofu. <laughs> so, you pick your battles. That you do. All right, so now we're going to do is take our burgers off, because they're all about medium right now, and we're just going to place them to actually drain as much more of the fat as we can. This is the turkey burger. This is our bison. And this is our lamb. Now, I didn't really pre-drain any of these, but the lamb I am gonna, a little bit, just because there's so much fat, as you can see. And I'm not getting my fingers in that mess. <laughs> that will burn. <laughs> All right, so here's our burgers. You can kind of see a pre-trip already. I'm just gonna put one on top to come across the top here. And I'm gonna put this to reach over. You kind of want the fat in certain things. Everyone's different. But all right, so everything started at four ounces. And now we're gonna weigh it all on a scale. I'll actually put it on top of here. The lamb, which is still pretty oily, comes in at the end at two and a quarter ounce. Qu two, yeah, two and a quarter ounce. So basically, this deduced by about 48%. That's at about 52% right now retained value. So that means that lamb at five something a pound, $5.99 a pound, is really $12 a pound after being cooked. That's expensive. Next we're going to do our bison. Bison comes in at two, almost two and a half, two and a half ounces. So the bison at $4.49 a pound, $4.50, comes in somewhere probably around seven bucks a pound. So it's just somewhere around seven, I'm assuming six to seven dollars. Uh, but again, a distinct taste if you like that taste. Now the turkey burger, which was four forty-nine a pound, weighed four ounces, that comes in at three ounces. So there you go. Twenty-five this comes in at seventy-five percent retained value. Means you're spending about five ten a pound, maybe five twenty-five a pound, possibly just under six. So when it comes to actual price per pound, even though the turkey burger and the bison are the exact same price per pound, you're getting more bang for the buck nutritionally from your turkey burger than you are with your bison burger. But you might be in the mood for red meat and not a poultry. Then on the lamb, you already know if it's a lamb, you're spending more money anyway. So it's kind of an acquired taste. It's something you probably want to spend money on routinely. But it does have 
a, a distinct taste and smell that some people don't like, some people do like. And it does smell very much like lamb chops when you bake them or broil them in the oven. So we tend to find out that opposed to 93% ground beef, the turkey is pretty close to that. So again, it's cheaper, if you're gonna cook with something, it's cheaper to go with either ground turkey or 93% ground beef than say 75% ground beef. But if you want something for taste, and you want like the, like, you know, they call the Cadillac of things, like the Cadillac or the Mercedes Benz of a food, you're gonna want the lamb. If you really wanna go all out, you could add dill, some yogurt, um, whole plethora, you can add a cranberry chutney to it, which will just pull out the flavor so well. But with a bison burger, pretty much have that straight up. Just like a hamburger, you could throw, just don't put any cheese on a bison burger, it's not really that good. It will, Taste is arbitrary, you know, preference, but it's not as tasty as it is on a cheeseburger, like a regular ground burger. And for turkey, I mean, that's just a great fail-safe. That goes between many different formats. I mean, you can use it for um, ground meats, for meatballs, for all sorts of stuff. You season it correctly, ground turkey, it pretty much tastes pretty identical to ground beef. So those are your odds, that's what you have to work with. You know? So it gives you an idea of um, what you're going to do next time you're in the grocery store. So if you're kind of perplexed on your shopping, now you have a, a better method. All right, thank you for this segment, and we'll see you next time.